Hey everyone, welcome back to another building video. I'm glad you're here. I'm Boachi. I just realized it's been almost two weeks since a new video. Life gets hectic sometimes, you know. Sorry about that. Now let's get into building this honey dispensary. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. And right now I'm going to be terraforming because there's a big hole in the ground and I'm trying to learn how to use World Editor. I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for all the support and wonderful comments and for hitting the 100 subscriber mark. Remember if you like what you see and you're not subscribed, click that button down there and ring the bell. So yay! Oh my god, 100 subscribers! <laughs> I am so happy. I didn't think this was going to happen. It was like, <laughs> I didn't really expect anyone to watch anything. <laughs> I was just trying to do this because I liked it. <laughs> so I'm really glad that y'all are around. It was a... Uh, very interesting that people were coming back to see what I was doing, which I'm glad because I love video editing. I like making little videos and things and I really enjoyed having y'all around. And so yeah, here we are. I'm still terraforming and now I'm going to start the build. The build's going to be very fantastic as you saw in the beginning and I think you're going to enjoy how this turns out and I'm using yellow wool. This week I wanted to create a cozy, honey, sticky, sweet homestead build. Some place I'd love to get some nice hot honey tea or maybe even iced honey tea. So I decided to build a pastel blue beehive inspired cottage. It's in the middle of a meadow and surrounded by a bunch of flowers and tall grass and bees everywhere. <laughs> it's a fantastic location. I was thinking of making the beehive cottage this uh, honey dispensary beige, you know, with the beehive block, but I realized that since it was in the middle of a meadow that the pastel blue would work better as a building block. It would be a better choice, especially compared combined with the white end stones to accent it. Now to get the uh, pastel blue, you have to use Mizuno pack, the resource pack, and then you have to put down warp blocks. And you have to put down two slabs of the warp block. A solid block will not make this color. And so I just want you to know that when you're trying to do it yourself, if you decide to. So with the pastel blue and the white in stone, it really pops out the building, especially in the middle of the field since as you can tell it's like a wall of green. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, it's really uh, fun and nice to use these warp blocks. They're a color that you can't really get in Minecraft, and yeah, I like it. It's probably my new favorite. I want to use the uh, crimson one next because it's like a pastel pink or kind of magenta, but I got to look at it again. But uh, you can get this by using the Mizuno pack, so if you want to have anything like this or you want to experiment and make your own builds, free fill to download it, and I'll provide a link in the description. So I thought these were uh, good contrasting blocks in the luscious green area and right now uh, this is not the end stone, the white end stone block. The roof right now is with cut sandstone. I had forgotten about the white end block so I was using the sandstone and it's like kind of not working but I'm going to work on it later. And the floorboards as you see here have a really nice uh, texture look to them. This is the beehive that I keep reading the name of, the beehive block, the one where you can keep the honeybees. I made that into the floorboards, so yeah. Here you go, here's a close-up of it. So the boards look like full-on planks and it's a good way to texture with just a single block and it's not too busy. It looks really good in the uh, Mizuno pack. So I like how the wood color compares with the pastel blue and then the iron doors are a nice lacy black cover. And then right here I'm using, I think it's spruce slabs, which go into their own design. Mizuno, she, I mean, she's, they're really creative because I like how the slabs turn out. Oh, I knocked the door down. Anyways, this is what it looks like, <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I thought that'd be nice for an entrance of the uh, dispensary, little funny home place. So here I am working on the roof. I wanted to do something different. I, I wanted it to be round, but not like a dome. I was kind of just going to go after like the honeycomb shape or like a round beehive shape. I wanted the whole building to be similar to that. There's also, I found out, Polish builds that are kind of similar in essence. So you can probably take a look at them if you want. There's pictures down in the link in the description below. Uh, it'll show you how I kind of approached the, the design. I, I don't know, I kind of went from a couple different sources, but mostly my imagination. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the warp blocks look good. 
And then here I am trying to figure out what block I want to use for the second floor. There's a few blocks in Minecraft where the bottom of the block looks completely different from the top and the side and it would be good for a floorboard. So I'm using the loom block and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like on the bottom. This is what you're going to see for the ceiling. So the loom block is the ceiling right now. And I'm going to add another layer for the second floor. I believe I used granite or polished granite for the second story floor. Or I guess it's technically the first story floor. They name it weird when it comes to building. But anyways, so yeah, the, the roof, the ceiling isn't just one block deep. It's like two blocks deep. There we go. That's the uh, granite, the polished granite, I believe. So it looks pretty good. It's usually works really well for making paths and whatnot, but I wanted it to be kind of homey at the top since this is where the shop owner is going to stay. Or, I don't know, I guess whoever works here, maybe it's going to be like part of a resort. Anyways, I always like the idea of having uh, people who own cafes living in the top. I think that's really quaint and just like a dream that a lot of people, that some people might want to achieve. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if that was like my life decision. <laughs> So here I am, I, so the spruce lock does look good on its own and it does work for houses, but it just like at the end, it doesn't work for a light color. The contrast was too harsh in this situation. Like I like how I shaped it. The shape came out pretty good. It kind of looks like a honeycomb or a beehive. It has a particular dome elongated shape. <laughs> But yeah, it's just so dark and it looks nice, but it doesn't work with the blue. But I finished it out before I realized that I wasn't really down for it and the texture. And I don't know, it, rooms always just take me a while to figure out what I want to do. It's always a frustrating part of building, but yeah, at least the uh, overall shape came out good. That's the uh, hardest part, but yeah, so here I am making the uh, patio porch wait no wait that's two things in one okay this is the front porch on the second story first story. oh my god i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna have to like start researching words for building anyways so here i am trying strip to birch wood for the roof but i realize that the planks because i have to use stairs and a solid block uh they don't match they don't match at all stripped birch in this pack is kind of yellow and the blocks are not. So here I am testing out the end blocks, which are white, and they look like bricks, white bricks. It looks way better, <laughs> way more appealing to the eyes, way easier to look at. So I changed everything out, and then I messed around a bit to try to get the roof to be more of a roof and not just like a weird mustache on the bottom. I don't know, whatever you call that. So here's the exciting part. Now we're gonna work on the interior on the first floor and I forgot to take my diamond armor off when I was doing this because I think I was like rifling through buried treasure and stuff and I don't know sometimes before I build I like to go on an adventure to see what's around cause, uh, I guess because I have to find a place to build so yeah I forgot to take my armor off so here we are <laughs> looking a little bit uh, out of place but yeah so I got a register down I am using three packs here. One's Abby's CIT pack that I want to do a review on. One's Mizuno and then the third one I was using was I think it was like Dream or something. I gotta put the name on the screen. I didn't use a lot of it. I used one sign from it and then got focused on Abby's pack because Abby's CIT pack has a lot of color splash like you can see with the bookcase. The bookcase looks really neat and yeah, so I was trying to figure out, remem memorize all the stuff in her pack. And yeah, so this is a uh, Ghoulcraft is also in here. That's what the honey jar on the table is. Oh, you can see I realized I had my diamond armor on. It's gone. <laughs> and uh, so Abby's was cool because it could do that little table. Uh, there was a big table. There was more chairs. There's the sink and the counter right there. Uh, yeah, it's just really neat. And then Mizuno's is a painting on the wall, and it's just a combination of everything. And oh yeah, Abby's has rugs. I like the rugs. And there's some, uh, yeah, a decorated counter. There's the villager who's, I'm waiting for him to get a yellow hat because he's a beekeeper. He's gonna be the beekeeper cashier. And yeah, so there's the countertop for the register. 
and I'm decorating away. And then here is the section I'm trying to figure out which style of table I want to put all the mm, coffee mixtures on it, like sugar, cream, stirs that you use when you go to the coffee shop. So that's what that table is. And then I'm also making a corner where you can lounge and read books from the bookcase, which is those three seats there. And then I'm putting a table in the corner from Abby's pack with the stools and chairs and this is going to be another little lounge spot once you order a drink and I'm putting the frames frames on invisible frames so I remember that I haven't put something down and I can put something down and then here I am decorating the top half of the uh, room just to give it some more interesting spice I really like that bookcase by the way it looks really pretty and I think there's like four different types of that bookcase in Abby's uh, CIT pack so here I am decorating the edges and putting up some lights and put the wrong one up. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's coming together pretty well. It took uh, a moment to figure out what I wanted to do. I even have a uh, boho pillow on the ground and an Ikea stand. Oh, and I put curtains up. I, I remembered, I finally remembered to put more curtains up this time. Oh, and there's a boba tea in the ghoul craft pack. That's new, that just came out and I was excited and I put that down on the table. And here I am putting cake down to, uh, yeah, there we go. It's hard to get the right cake to show up. It's like randomized and I need the cake to match the cake on the table that I sold. So that's what I was trying to achieve there. I finally got it. I was also trying to use like honey blocks and stuff to like show that this was a honey dispensary room, but the honey blocks are just too rough. But uh, yeah, I put other cool things in here though. I've remembered the jukebox. I've been trying to put this in my builds for like a month or two, but I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> but here it is, yeah, a jukebox with the cashier and the fan and cakes and coffee. Oh, wait, or tea, I don't know. Anyways, whatever you put honey in, that's what's here. I also have a laptop on the table. I thought that was really nice. It blinks. Yeah, you see that? That looks cool. <laughs> this looks really cute. This looks really pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I like it. So I'm putting all the little uh, trinkets and stuff. Uh, the villager finally has a hat, a yellow hat uh, for the beehive, whatever. Uh, yeah, so here's some shelves and stuff and the colors. I, I made everything kind of yellow so it would match the uh, bee c scenario. You know, it's a dispensary. Everything is yellow, kind of. It also complements the blue, blue and yellow. So I thought that looked nice. I thought it looked very pretty. But yeah, and here I am adding more accents and plants and getting everything to blend in together. And yeah, it's just uh, a lot of fun. This one came out really adorable. I like how this is going. It's pretty nice. So, and uh, the anvil, I, I guess I don't ever say this, the anvil that you see me using, you have to use with the CIT packs. Uh, it's kind of normal for me now, but it did take me a while to realize that. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that anvil's for. It's not just being sporadically laid down because I have an obsession with the anvil. <laughs> But yeah, I, I put some coffee on the floor, putting plants on the floor, making it a lounge area, getting everything together, making it look like people have come in here and sat down and chilled and whatnot, and getting all the plants up because that makes it very cozy. We, we need it to be cozy in here. We need it to uh, be enjoyable and you want to come back. So yeah, thank you all for stopping in. And if you like this video, free, feel free to watch any of my other videos and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.